losses, one no decision. He has 18 wins coming by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, here's the former youth and NABF champion, currently the WBC number four ranked contender, introducing Josecito. across the ring, the defending world champion, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing the colors of Mexico red trunks with red and green twin, hailing from and representing Guadalajara. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome one of the dynamic young stars of boxing today, the undefeated WBC super welterweight champion of the world, aquí está el gran ídolo mexicano, Saúl. Remember guys, I'm fair but I'm firm. We just want to get all the door. The evening, the champion, the 22-year-old Canelo Alvarez. Looking for a second consecutive year. The paths were not supposed to cross, but they're about to collide at the MGM Grand. Hitting a lot of visitors in and out all night. Meanwhile, in Lopez's dressing room, it was quiet. Point out, I'm, oh, good right hand by Canelo. They're going at it here in round one. I misspoke about the weight bigger than Lopez, but it's a story that Lopez actually is about at the same weight as Alvarez when this fight starts. Get him out of his rhythm early, Pollard. He does, but it seems like he's trying to measure the strength Canelo has. He's kind of sitting on the back foot, working off the jab. There he goes. And a good combination. Hooks to the body by the challenge. Overhand right by Canelo. That's not a lot, and a little is what at least what he needs. It seems like Lopez is trying to feel out what kind of strength. 140 to 147 to vanquish Victor Orr and capitulated at the end of round nine, and now he's tasting the power of the champion here at 154. Canelo, nice shots to the body there. Lopez answering back, he's trying. Alvarez is a, a combination puncher. Canelo can't throw combinations. Some people think about him. Canelo lands a jab and the left hand just misses. Canelo is actually throwing more power in the first thirdly. Canelo and his camp have said it time and again. They are set to take on the next level. And what a major fight in the fight capital of the world lost for Walter Wade Champion. For Canelo Alvarez. It seemed to me Lopez in that first round had trouble finding his distance. A Tribute to the, the legendary boxing and boxers. Trunkson really very excited to be fighting on this Mexican Independence Day weekend. Although Lopez now bringing the fight to the chin. Has Canelo on the ropes and he told us in the fighter meeting that somewhere he wanted to there keep the champion. Nice hook, nice, nice hook back. right hand. With, the, with Canelo. And Canelo Alvarez hooks to the body and now putting together the common here in round two. Canelo answered the call. He came back after getting whacked. Great combination. The left hand to the body and the left by the champion, Canelo Alvarez. Action is opening up here, round two. The ropes, not letting himself get trapped. Nice hook. It's essentially two weight classes. Gets tagged with the right hand, comes back with the right, but misses. And has Lopez on the ropes. Left hook to the liver. He said, I'm going to try it a couple times and see how I do. He's doing it right now. Well, here, this is Canelo on point. This is exactly the same number of punches, but the difference, this powerful left hook to the body. Shouldn't, Henry Ramirez knew he shouldn't, but he did and he paid for it. I love how Canelo set up that hook to the body. He, it's, it's a throwaway punch right off a cut. He kind of just touched him with it. He didn't throw it hard, and then he, just to get the momentum to his left side of his body, so he could put some torque on that hook to the gloves. Made a difference. And that's the thing, Al, These, the, it's the sparring. Those things hurt. Yep. Alvarez again, beginning to score it well, but Lopez showing his fight, and now another body He's shot. too small. Lopez to Right hand by Alvarez. 
the third round. Look. Landed an excellent right hand that did nothing to Canelo. To be too much for Lopez here as we in the third round again against the ropes. 33 seconds left. Back with some good shots of his own at times. No one can question him, but that's all. Ten seconds left. Right hand by Lopez. Another round in the books for the chip. From above, he gets great leverage on these body shots. A terrific left. The variation. Canelo touches up top, goes downstairs, goes downstairs and comes back up top. You know, way out of here. We'll see how much more he can take, or if he can get Canelo's respect here in the coming rounds. He's got to do something to get that. Careful and methodical as he normally is. A huge advantage in the power punching department for the champion. And what a percent. And that's a lot of credit has to do with that. Oh, and he touches him again with the right hand. Sorry, Pauly. Sharp, sharp, sharp count on the right side. Variation is the key to a lot of the offense Canelo's having success with. Left uppercut. Lopez stays in the pocket, comes forward with a... Been dropped twice, but he remains in the fight. With a... Right back into the fray. There's more going into the fight, but I, I've got newfound respect for him. I mean, he's just tough. Lopez doubles up on the jab and goes down. And now it's Lopez opening up, but again, the champion absorbing all the shots and really not right through on his offense. And, and now back goes on the body and the right hand. That's tough. With Lopez had just thrown a lot of punches, he's probably combination. Round four is in the books. It's all. Third straight round. Josecito before the knock knockdown. This is the coming back, landing a right hand and some other shots. Didn't land them all cleanly, but you can see how Canelo came back. And with the body attack as a staple for the third straight round would send. Moving up in weight. In the white with an American flags on his truck. So you just when you're coming out popping jabs this round, he's trying to do something. But Canelo showcasing, as you mentioned, second professional fight. He's just 22 years of age. And again, attacking the body away with the left hands. Creates these opportunities for Canelo. Out and Canelo again. Oh, his hands down, taking the shots and coming back with potent punches. <laughs> again, ripping away at the body. A slight adjustment when he's on the ropes. He's, he's moving his head a little bit more. Yeah. Before he was just putting his hands up. As I say that, he stopped moving his head. He might be tired. A lot of punches in this round. Not powerful, but landing them. A minute of the oh, fifth wow. round, and Lopez catches the champion with a right hook. And a oh. left uppercut. Lopez show not, not willing to give in, but trade. And yet. Alvarez again going downstairs with the left hands to the body. Tattooed Lopez again along the ropes. Alvarez. Left uppercut misses. Right hand connects. Ten seconds left in the round. And referee Joe Cortez intervenes. He's seen it. He's the WBC Super Welterweight Champion. But that last round demonstrated some of his defensive liabilities. And those just devastating in this he, fight. He liked to use that uppercut to set up that body shot. It's, set, it's the same thing he did in round one. The stoppage happened. Joe Cortez looking carefully in it. There's no question Lopez was taking some punishment here. Look at it. Alvarez landing that pulverizing right hand and ripping hooks. That one. Remember Lopez had been down three straight rounds. So good, good stoppage. Yeah, there's there, there's or just wasn't enough to hurt Canelo. And as he wails away with that straight right, up to Jimmy Lennon Jr. for the official announcement. Saul Canelo.